As the USB pen drive is inserted into the computer, let's open the Explorer panel. Click on the unit assigned to ECM Titanium and click on the setup file to install it on our computer. After choosing the desired language, click on Next to proceed. At this point, to be able to proceed, we must read and accept both the disclaimers regarding the license and the terms of use. Lastly, click on Install and wait for the installation to complete. This procedure is necessary only once. From the next ones, after inserting the USB key, just click on the ECM icon that was created on your desktop after the installation. We always recommend working connected to the internet as now. In this way, after being launched, ECM Titanium will download the updated list of all the drivers available on the Alien Tech server, as well as any software and driver updates. This step usually takes from a few seconds to a couple of minutes, but working with the latest updates available is worth it. During an offline session instead, the update window will automatically close in a few seconds, but you will be able to use only the driver and original files previously downloaded and saved on your personal database. Okay, now we are inside ECM Titanium. Before starting to explore the full potential of this software, let's take a look at the main sections. At the top left, there is the main menu with all the macro sections. Immediately below the icons linked to the most common functions on ECM, such as loading ORI file, mod file, save and delete memory functions, and the info section, which contains the serial number of your ECM license associated with your customer code. Great! Now we are ready to start customizing some useful settings. The language. To change it, click on the related icon to check all the available ones. Let's choose the desired language and click on OK to save it. The password. Given the importance of this software, in case you want to make sure that no one else uses it without your permission, you can set a personal password that will be requested each time ECM Titanium is started. To do this, click on Settings, Change Password. Just check not to exceed 16 characters. Lastly, the Smooth Background option, which, if activated, allows you to have a fully customizable graphic experience to simplify and make the table display more intuitive. Click Settings, Options, and flag it. Perfect! Now that we have configured the main settings, let's go deeper inside ECM Titanium. This software is used to calibrate the original files of the ECUs of cars, motorcycles, tractors, trucks, boats, such as automatic transmission control units, readable with any tool if not encrypted. The main aspect for which ECM Titanium clearly stands out from the competition is its versatility, obtained thanks to the constant production of new drivers by Alien Tech technicians. These drivers are matched and made available for any original file uploaded by the customer making it easy to consult and modify. It is important to remember that original files contain a huge amount of information, but only a small portion of them is relevant for the engine calibration. For this reason, during the driver creation process, Alien Tech developers carefully analyze the entire original file, collecting and organizing all the parameters linked to the performance of a particular engine or gearbox. Let's start to work with ECM Titanium. To do this, we need an original file from which to start. If it is a file saved on our computer, we can upload it by clicking on Browse, and after selecting it, on Open. Alien Tech recommends saving any original file with an ORI extension, even if ECM Titanium can open files with any other extension. If it is the first time loading an original file, as you can see, the research of its driver automatically starts. In a few seconds, we can see the list of the drivers found next to a colored square that identifies their status. Red for all files not present in the USB memory. Green 
for those already saved. Yellow for the files previously saved for which Alien Tech Technicians released an update. Perfect. In our case, the research returned a red square driver. This means that we do not have it in our personal database, so we need to download it from the online server. Select the file, click on Download Driver, then accept it to see the list of maps contained in the original files and start working on it. To save time and avoid repeating this step several times, click Yes on the pop-up asking to register the file in the database. In this way, both the original file and the driver will be saved on the USB memory and will be ready for the next time. Don't forget to do this operation if you expect to work offline from time to time. To load it directly from our personal database located on the USB memory, in the database section on the left of the screen, click on Open. Select vehicle's brand and model from the drop-down menus, then click on Start Search. Here is the list of original files and drivers saved on the USB key for the chosen vehicle. After choosing one of them, ECM Titanium allows us to delete it, for the yellow square files to download the updated version of the driver, to export it on our own computer, to visualize all the modified files created from the original file selected and exported on our computer. Lastly, to accept it and proceed with the modification. What we have just seen is one of the four states that can be assigned to a driver on ECM Titanium. Let's see what to do in the other cases. If the square next to the driver resulting from the search is green, after selecting it, simply click on Accept Driver. If it is yellow, we can decide to accept it by clicking on Accept Driver or to update it by clicking on Download Driver before accepting it again. This step is not mandatory, but obviously, it is always better to work with updated versions. Lastly, if the research fails, it means that there is no driver match available for our original file at the moment. In this case, we have a red square too, but as you can see next to it, there is not any driver code, but just no driver compatible with the selected file. The only operation we should perform in this case is to click on Driver Request. At this point, we can mention another strong point of ECM, the assistance provided by AlienTech. Whenever a customer finds an original file not supported by the drivers in the online server, the software gives the possibility to open a driver request that can end either with its creation or the indication of a compatible driver. Well, let's click on Driver Request and as you can see, we are redirected to the Alien Tech dashboard. We enter our email and password to authenticate and click on the driver request section, then load the original file. The system asks us to fill the form with as much information as possible, essential for the help desk staff who will take charge of the request. Our information, brand and model of the vehicle, engine displacement, horsepower, ECU manufacturer, its number, and lastly, its version. Let's conclude by taking a quick look at the terms of use, then check the related box and click on confirm. With this step, we completed the submission. Furthermore, a notification of the successful operation has just been sent to the email linked to the alien ID. If we want to check the status of our request, click on Driver Request Report. Here we can view all the requests forwarded to Alien Tech Assistance and their completion status. Pending, if still have to be taken in charge. In progress, if the Alien Tech Help Desk is currently working on it. Suspended, in case the request form has been filled omitting important information, the request will remain pending until the customer completes what's missing. Closed indicates the end of the driver request process. Two outcomes are possible. The first occurs when Alien Tech staff finds an existing driver fully compatible with our original file. In this case, the request will be closed by sending an email to the customer with the compatible driver code. That has to be searched and downloaded. Let's see immediately how. Let's go back to ECM Titanium and reload the original file by clicking on Browse. Stop the automatic search by clicking on Abort Search and search the driver manually by its code. 
Clicking on driver name, then type the code sent by the assistant. Let's download and accept it. The second possible outcome occurs when there is no compatible driver for our original file. In this case, the assistants will close our request after creating and inserting the new driver into the server. Let's see how to find it. Let's go back to ECM, reload the original file, and after the automatic driver search starts, here is the new driver created for us. Let's download and accept it to start working on its maps. In case we need other types of assistance for the ECM Titanium product, after entering into the AlienTech dashboard, under the Help Desk section, click on Technical Support. Now, click on ECM Titanium Remapping Software, and then insert the serial number associated with your ECM Titanium product. To be able to compile on assistance request, let's click on the button next to the serial number. After filling out the form, click on Send Request. When the AlienTech technicians reply, we will receive a notification email. Okay, we have just seen how to load the original file and allow ECM Titanium to interpret it with the correct driver. Here, there is the list of maps whose internal values influence the performance of the vehicle analyzed. If you notice, the code in the first line related to the driver corresponds exactly to the code of our original file. Unless we are using a compatible driver indicated by the assistants, this correspondence will always be unique. Let's select a map and open it with a left double-clicking. In case of a checksum warning appears, if you intend to write it with original Alien Tech tools, just ignore it by clicking OK. Instead, if you are using different tools or an EEPROM programmer, consider the warning before writing the file. The default visualization is tabular. The map is composed of the horizontal and vertical axis and the values between them. The information contained in this and the other maps can be read in this way thanks to the drivers developed for this specific original file. Let's understand how they are organized. Each axis is composed of values expressed in specific units of measurement, chosen by the ECU manufacturer according to the reference parameter. For example, the power values can be found expressed in kilowatts rather than horsepower. These data are displayed in the first cell at the top left. The unit of measurement of the values inside the map is located at the end of the map name. Let's analyze the rest of the window. At the top left, we find a panel with the main menu items and the most useful direct commands, basic and advanced. In this video, we analyze only the basic ones. For the other ones, take a look at the next video about ECM Titanium. At the bottom of the screen instead, we find the respective paths of the original file loaded and of the modified file that we will save as soon as the work is finished, together with other information about these two files. Now let's see the basic functions most used. Edit value and interpolation. Almost every modification will be done with one of these two functions. In case we want to modify a range of cells with different values, we will use interpolation. Instead, if we need to overwrite one or more cells of the map with a fixed value, we should choose Edit Value. The interpolation function is very interesting. It works by selecting a minimum of two cells and allows you to apply a range of values by intervening only on the horizontal and or vertical extremes. Let's see how with an example. On the vertical axis, we have the engine revolutions. On the horizontal axis, the percentage position of the accelerator pedal. The engine torque values of this map are expressed in Newton meters. Let's suppose that we need to increase the calculated engine torque value between 3,000 and 8,000 engine revolutions when the percentage position of the accelerator pedal is at its maximum. Our goal is to bring the torque to 300 Newton meters when the engine is at 3,000 engine revolutions up to 450 newton meters at 8,000 engine revolutions. In the last column, which corresponds to the maximum percentage position of the accelerator pedal, we select the entire range of values from 3,000 to 8,000 on the vertical axis and click Interpolation.
The options offered by the interpolation function are absolute and percentage increments, and the values overriding. The absolute increment is used to add or subtract if we are talking about a negative number, a fixed value that we are going to insert in the cell below. The percentage increment is instead a percentage increase calculated starting from the value of the map, to which a specific percentage is added. Once you click on the OK button, ECM Titanium automatically adds the calculated percentage increment to the value in the map. The override values, instead of adding or subtracting, is intended to uniformly replace the values included within our selection. We start from the upper side of our selection, which is replaced by the number entered in the first cell, while the lower one is overwritten by the number entered in the second cell. All the values between the extremes are overwritten with the decimal numbers between the first and the second value. This rule is valid both for a horizontal selection, for which the values are read from left to right, as for a vertical selection, in which the first cell corresponds to the first value selected in the map, and the second one corresponds to the last selected value. In our case, we use this last option, overwrite values. Let's type 300 in the first cell at the top and 450 in the second. Furthermore, with just a modified map, our file changed from an original file to a modified one. Remember that between one interpolation and the other, the last option used will be saved. If we want to change it, we should click on the corresponding flag. The other basic function widely used is edit value. This command is similar to the override values of the interpolation function, but it differs in the number of selectable cells. In fact, it works with one or more cells indifferently and always overwrites the same value in all the selected cells. To set a fixed torque value, for example, 450 newton meters between 3,000 and 5,500 engine revolutions, when the percentage position of the accelerator pedal is 85%, we should select the values on the map Click Edit Value and Overwrite with 450. Once finished editing this map, close it by clicking on the X at the top right. Click on OK to return to the list of maps. Notice how the modified maps are recognizable at a glance with a flag inside the green square. Once the modification of the maps involved is finished, Let's save our modified file to reprogram it on the control unit. We can choose to save it in the internal memory of ECM Titanium or on our computer. Click on File, Save Modified EEPROM, and click on Yes if we want to save the modified file in the database of the USB key. On No to export it to the hard disk of your computer. If we clicked on No, we have to choose Yes in the next pop-up and then specify the path in which to save the modified file. To resume a modified file saved inside the ECM Titanium memory, we should open the local database as saw at the beginning of the video. Let's choose the brand and model of the vehicle and start the search. To check all the modified files created starting from an original file, select the original file and click on View Modified. Choose the modified file to reopen and then on Accept Data.